again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans! Welcome to the third and final part of our XY Primal Clash Dollar Tree Booster Box opening video here on the Poke Capital. We have 20 packs left here in our box for part number three. Uh, try to keep at least Dollar Tree Tuesday going, and uh, tomorrow I should have a Carrier Pidgey Express Polls episode for you guys, if all goes according to plan. And uh, then after Thanksgiving, I definitely won't have a regular upload on Thursday. Might not even have Pokemon Pack Daily on Thursday because it is Thanksgiving. We'll see though. Uh, but then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, assuming I get 72 subscribers to when I'm recording this, which by the way, I'm recording this at 11.30 uh, p.m. on, this is Monday. Spent the better part of the last 12 plus hours in the warehouse working and stuff, but want to make sure I get this recorded so I can actually have it uploaded tomorrow. So wait till tomorrow to record. Well, it probably won't happen. So let's get down to business here. Again, sorry for my absence. Uh, we'll likely continue to have a lot of missed days moving forward just because now through Christmas, I mean, we're just jammed with the e-commerce side of stuff. We've been shipping, you know, hundreds if not thousands of items to Amazon pretty much daily, trying to get all of our inventory there so it can be sold and actually, you know, earn our living because this is, you know, game time. This is when we really make or break. Taking some nicks along the way as well, but you know, it, it's fun times, it's fun times. But after Christmas, we'll for sure get back to daily uploads again. But now through Christmas, it'll be tough. Now, I'll be lucky if I get three or four uploads per week outside of Pokemon Pack Daily. So, just so you guys are informed. But let's get into it here with Vulpix, Combuskin, and a Rhyhorn. Yeah, and by the way, if you missed part one and or part two, always good to check out those first because uh, we'll probably have spoilers at the end here as we see Phoebus. Now, twice in this box already, here's your first spoiler alert, we got a Phoebus as the first card, and in two of those packs, we got a reverse, which is weakness policy, I think, in both packs. I didn't double check the footage for part one, but in part two that happened, and I think part one as well. So, let's see what happens here. We've got Phoebus, we've got teammates, and, oh, it's a Slugma. So no suspense there, not shiny, not water. And so, definitely not two Phoebus, one pack. All right, hopefully we can find some more nice Ultraers here in the final part three. Electric, Lanoon, and a reverse rare candy. You want all said and done here, uh, once again, every four packs you want to get a rare and a reverse. So 60 packs in the box, so at the end, we want to have 15 or more rares and 15 or more reverses. Rhyhorn, Torchic, Ancient Trait, and a Sceptile Rare. So through uh, four packs, we have a reverse and we have a rare. So, so far here in just part three, as its own little example or sample size, we're right on pace for what we want to get, but hopefully some of the rares we get will be, you know, hollow rare or ultra rare. Sveal, Lantern, and a Silent Lab Reverse. So three in a row. And I still have Lucario fans signature card there right next to me on set because that's the last video I did actually besides Pokemon Pack Daily that went up yesterday. Oh, it feels weird going so long without making a video, but just been that busy. Oh well, it will change eventually. Weedle, Rhydon, and another reverse, this time a rare Metacham. Normally a hollow rare in the set, if I remember correctly. So not too bad. In the last four packs, we got three reverses and a non-foil rare. But like I said, I kind of want to get quality over quantity, which a lot of you guys said in Pokemon Pack Daily yesterday as well. So I'll take that into consideration for sure for what happens on this channel now through Christmas. Staryu, the rare candy, and a Volbeat. But as far as this opening goes, I'd rather get, you know, like two EXs and nothing else shiny versus getting, you know, what we expect to get as far as rare and reverse wise goes quantity wise. I'd rather get, you know, less rarity, less shine, but higher quality as far as ultras go. Nose Pass, Electric, and a Spinda. All right, so we're back in a little bit of a lull here. Kinda expected that after getting, you know, four well, as far as Dollar Tree packs go, four hits in a row with those three reverses and a non-foil rare in consecutive packs. Lotad, Lombre, do we have Ludicolo? 
No, that's Bidoof. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm hoping we get at least one more ultra rare in this box, though, but we'll see. I, I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but uh, quantity wise, well, there's a reverse, or not a reverse, a non hollow rare Azumarill. Ugh. Uh, so far, for what we got in this box, we have the same number of ultra rares as we had in our Roaring Skies box, which I'll say isn't too many. But at least our quality has been good within the ultras, to say the very least. If you didn't see the Roaring Skies box, definitely check that one out as well. Tentacool! Nidoqueen! And a Pro Pass rare! So, more non foil rares. We had a lot of non foil rares, spoiler alert, in part number two. So, the last, like, a lot of rares we've gotten in this have either been non foil rares or reverses. But we've also gotten a hollow rare or better. But it'll be! Freshwater set! And low tad! All right, one, two, oh, there, there's a solid handful of packs left there. Too many to count right now. Well, I could count, but I, I'm wasting your time enough with, you know, my random ramblings, but I'll make sure you guys are informed with what's happened with the channel, since obviously videos have been far from daily, like they usually are the last week, especially. Like I said, other than Pokemon Pack Daily yesterday, this is my first video that I'm recording or uploading since last Wednesday's Carrier Pidgey Express Polls episode. Surskit, Bunnelby Ancient Trait, and a Huntail Reverse Rare. Alrighty. Can we get a Hollow or an Ultra Rare Hollow? Come on now. Come on now. Barboach, Electric Ancient Trait. Oh, what do we have here? It's... A sharp Hedo EX! Alright, we finally struck with another Ultra Rare. Definitely the lowest quality slash value Ultra we've gotten so far in this box without giving too much away. But still, anytime we get any Ultra from a Dollar Tree pack, it feels just a little bit better, a little bit more awesome. So there is Sharp Hedo. I don't know if he's left shark or right shark, that's up to you. But it is just a Sharp Hedo EX nonetheless with Hunt and Jagged Bane. We have five packs left here, including the next two featuring Primal Fish. May he bless these remaining packs with perhaps at least one more Ultra. That'd be pretty darn sweet. Zigzagoon, Garnivar, Spirit Link, and a Pickle Tree. All right, four packs remain. Can we find anything else Splendorifico, Metatite, Weakness Palace, and a Bidoof. Three packs to go. Primal Groudon, followed by a Guardian Agron. I'm still not sure if that's Mega Gardevoir or regular Gardevoir. I think it's Mega Agron. But I've never been like certain of the Guardi. I assume it's Mega Guardi because it's in the set, but I don't know. Horsey, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick, and Illumis Reverse. All right. I'd really love a trilling sign if it was like a hit and run kind of attack. I would love that. If it did 10, confuse the opponent and a Loomis like switch with someone on your bench. I, I, I'd, I would definitely build a fun deck of some sort using a Loomis with four of in the deck if that were the case, but it's not, but oh well. Two packs to go. We've got a Chin Chow, Rhydon, and a non-foil rare Kindra. And that brings us to, ladies and gentlemen, the last pack, last chance for glory, with Mega Agron. Way back when we did our booster case opening of Primal Clash, six booster boxes, we had a lot of last pack magic within the case from those six boxes with Mega Agron pack art. Can he strike one more time? Let's find out. We've got a Tynamo. The Doof Ancient Trait. In the final card of this three-part Primal Clash Dollar Tree Booster Box opening is... Nidoran Female. All right, so time to recap then. For we, so again, we are looking for at least 15 reverses and at least 15 rares 
which includes hollows, EXs, ultras, you know, all that good stuff. So, reverse rear wise, and I've kept the piles here. You can't really see, but I've kept the piles uh, there, and the ultras, well, I'll show you in a second, but there's all the commons, all the uncommons, all the rares, and all the reverses, and there's the Phoebus from the opening as well. So, let's see where we're at here. So, four reverses, just get things a little more centered here. Do, 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 do. Good enough. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So exactly the right odds. Some of you may like the fact that we got two reverse Badoof cards. We do have the two weakness policies, the one which has like the weird ink job or whatever. I think those both cam packs that had a Phoebus. And there is what, four rares? Swampert, Kyogre, Metacham and Huntail, couple of good reverse trainers. Teammates, Professor Birch Observations, Rare Candy, Silent Lab. So, pretty decent quality of reverses, I will say. And then, for the rares, including the ultras, got it all here. All right. So, for rares, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. So perfect odds with 15 reverses and 15 rares. No hollow rares, but we do get two regular arts and one full art EX for ultra rares. We got both of those in part one, nothing in part two, and then Sharpedo in part three. So we spoiled all the best stuff early in this three part opening, but still not too shabby. And for those who can score at home, we also got a full play set of four Phoebus, just to get any reverses, and obviously did not get two Phoebus, one pack. So that's all for our XY Primal Clash Dollar Tree Booster Box opening. Please subscribe. We're, as of when we're recording this, like I said, 11.30 at night on Monday night, we are 72 subscribers away from 25,000. Assuming we hit that by Friday. Starting Friday, I plan to have a multi-part 25,000 subscriber special upload for you guys, which will probably be posted Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So a three-part video for 25,000 subs, assuming we get 72 between now and Friday. I think we can do that. We usually gain at least 40 subs per day, with few exceptions, although with the lack of videos, it makes it a little harder to gain the subs because we're not posting new content as frequently, but I'm pretty confident we'll get there. So uh, tomorrow, we should have Curia Pidgey Express polls. Thursday, nothing except for possibly Pokemon Pack Daily. That's not by me. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully that 25,000 sub special uh, upload series. And then probably nothing on Monday except for Pokemon Pack Daily, which will be by me, though. And then next week, Tuesday, we will start our Ancient Origins Dollar Tree booster box opening. So stay tuned for that. So like I said, subscribe, rock, smash that like button, visit our website, Thank you all for watching. Thank you for support. Thanks for sticking with me while my upload schedule gets more erratic here with our busy season. Again, I'll post as much as I can in good quality. Uh, based on what you guys said in yesterday's Pokemon Pack Daily, you guys prefer to see quality over quantity, which means I'll try to do less videos, but they'll be like bigger openings. Like this Dollar Tree series, the booster boxes, they're bigger openings. And then the other videos I do, besides Care Picture Express pulls, I'll try to be more, more special, you know. You know, opening a new product that I haven't opened before, or opening like a booster box, something like that. I won't do like, I won't have, for instance, like a 10 day run where I open, you know, just the Target blisters each day or something like that, where I just, you know, do a short video just to have a video. So, won't be doing that, but enough of my yapping. Most of you probably listen to me more anyway, so yes. Subscribe, rock smash, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, and hopefully, we'll see you guys tomorrow when I will hopefully have posted a new episode of Carrier Pidgey Express Polls. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all then.